does LinkedIn help professionals stay updated and in industry trends, news and relevant content? Um, there's a couple of ways that you can do that. Um, one of that is to follow hashtags. So if you're in IT and let's say, for example, cloud security, data analysis, for example, uh, you could follow particular hashtags. And when you follow these hashtags, what happens is when you type in your search uh, bar, the hashtag, then all of a whole bunch of things can be visible from content to people to companies. So that's that's the good thing about the search function is that with the search function, you will pull up different categories of information as suits you. So when you follow a hashtag, you not only find um, up-to-date news, you might find the companies that are in that space, you'll find the people that are in that space. So it's very useful, especially if you're new in that, in that area or you've changed companies and you just want to see what, what is happening. Now, I won't say that you'll find everything because there's so much going on um, and IT is such a big space, but you'll find the things that people are talking about often. So that's one way to stay up to date is to follow a hashtag. The um, And there are ha- well-known hashtags. When you follow a hashtag, it will show how many uh, followers, you know, how much search history there is. So certain hashtags will be not as popular and you can go and look and see what are the different hashtags and which ones are popular and follow those. Another thing you can do is follow key companies in that space and thought leaders and subject matter experts. And the, of course, there are a whole bunch of newsletters out there now. A lot of people um, and companies are producing newsletters on a regular basis, LinkedIn included. And so these can be good sources of information. LinkedIn itself is, there's a lot of news being created as well within LinkedIn. So it's creating a situation where people don't need to go outside. You can stay on the platform and get everything that you need. And that can be useful for you to know what people are talking about, what is um, what is trending and, and, and what is making the news at the time. And I think another way to stay up to date with industry trends and relevant content is not just to think about consuming the content, but being part of the conversation, okay? Uh, especially if you want to be known for a particular subject matter or you want people to know your expertise in an area. To do that, to be part of the conversation, you've also got to lead. And to lead means it could be as simple as leading a discussion, um, asking pertinent questions. You don't necessarily have to have the answers all the time. Just asking the questions could be good um, and sharing useful resources. So these are some of the ways that you can begin to surface in information and people in your space and on topics that are of interest to you. Excellent. 